my name is Dr. Heather and I'm going to be doing your exam today. We're going to do a head, ears, eyes, nose, throat, and skin exam. And I'm going to start by getting your vitals. Okay. So right away I'm noticing that you're well dressed, well developed, um, well nourished, and in no apparent distress. You seem alert and oriented. Do you know where you are? Yes, I'm at the Vestir Clinic in San Diego. Fantastic. And tell me your name. It's Natalia Quinn. Correct. And um, do you know what time of day it is? Um, it's lunchtime. Okay. It's just afternoon and it's Friday. Great. I'm going to take your temperature. Fantastic. Your temperature is 99.1. How are you feeling? I feel fine. Pulse and so your heart rate is 60 beats per minute and your respiratory rate is 12 breaths per minute. You get your blood pressure now. I know that's tight, so it's coming down. So I got 102 over 70. Is that normal? Yes. Tends to be low. All right. So next we're going to do the head exam. I'm going to feel your head, and I want you to just let me know if there's anything that is tender. So what I noticed right away is that your head is atraumatic, normocephalic, that your um, scalp is pink, free of lesions and infestations, and I don't notice any flaking or dryness. Your hair is fine, blonde, with normal female distribution. It's also clean and soft. Noticing your face, symmetric, um, and your skin is um, smooth and free of lesions. I'll feel your temporal arteries. Is there any tenderness there? No. Fantastic. And then we'll go to your lymph nodes. So I'll start with the occipital nodes, your postauricular, preauricular, tonsillar, submandibular, submental, anterior cervical, posterior cervical, and supraclavicular. And all of those are non-palpable. Are they tender at all to you? No. I'm going to feel the back of your neck and your cervical vertebrae. Any tenderness there? No. Great. And then now I'm going to feel your thyroid. If you would press your head into my hand. And the same on the side. And that feels grossly symmetrical. I don't feel any um, palpable masses in your neck. And so that's nice and normal. So I'm going to start with an eye exam. And I'll give you instructions as we go along. Let me know if you have any questions. So first I'll notice that your brows and eyelashes are both symmetrical, free of infestations, of cresting. They're not thinning at all. And there's no lesions there. And your lids are both symmetrical and there's no lid lag. There's no ptosis. There's no swelling or erythema. Noticing your nasal la lacrimal ducts. There's no exudate, no erythema. Is there any tenderness for you? No. Great. Um, the bulbar conjunctiva are both clear and smooth. The pupil conjunctiva are pink and smooth. Your sclera are white. And your cornea is clear. Um, I see no ulcerations or lacerations around your eyes. And the anterior chamber is clear. Can you tell me how many fingers I'm holding up? Three. So your visual acuity is intact. Um, I'm going to check your visual fields. If you would cover your right eye and let me know when you can see my fingers moving. Yes. 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 Great. And if you would cover your left eye. Yes. 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 Fantastic. All right. 
And now I'm going to check your extraocular muscles. So if you would, follow my finger. So your extraocular muscles are intact, as well as convergence. Right, so next I'm going to test your corneal light reflex. And your corneal light reflex is intact bilaterally and symmetric. So we'll test the cover uncover test, if you would, cover your right eye. And I notice tracking in your left eye. Go ahead and uncover your right and cover your left, please. And I notice the tracking in your right eye. And both of those look symmetrical and normal. Next, um, I'm going to take a look at your pupillary reflex. I notice that your pupils are both equal and round, and both are reactive to light, and I see that both um, direct and consensual reflexes are intact. Now I'm going to take a look at the blood vessels in your eye. Since I'm using the panoptic, I don't need to turn off the light in here. There we go. All right. So if you'll just take a look at the wall behind me and keep your gaze there as I do the exam, I'm going to find the red reflex, and I've got that. And as I come in, I notice the vessels. I see that there's no nicking. There's about a 2 to 3 ratio there. And I will follow the vessels to the disc and cup, and I see a 1 to 2 ratio there. All right. And we'll do the same thing on the side. I've got your red reflex. And I come in, take a look at those vessels, follow them to the disc and cup, and I see again the one to two ratio there. So your eyes look fantastic and all normal. All right. So next we're going to do the ear exam. So I'm going to take a look and also feel. Let me know if there's any tenderness here. No. Nope. On the tragus? No. Nope. Mastery process or the oracle? No. Nope. Great. And so I noticed that the pina are symmetrical and level with the outer canthus of the eye, and there are no lesions, swelling, and we already assess tenderness, so there's no tenderness. Next, I'm going to take a look in your ears. And I notice that the canals are smooth and pink, and free of swelling, discharge, lesions, and I can see that I can visualize the tympanic membrane and all of the um, ossicles there, as well as the cone of light. And we'll take a look at this side. And again, the canals are smooth, pink, without debris, discharge, swelling, or lesions. And both uh, tympanic membranes are gray with clear landmarks and a cone of light present. Now I'm going to test your hearing. Will you cover your right ear? And let me know, can you hear this? Yes. And let me know when you can no longer hear it. No. Okay, great. And would you cover your left ear? Can you hear this? Yes. Let me know when you can no longer hear it. No. Great. So next I'll do an exam of your nose. And I'm going to switch out my speculums here. Alright, so I'm just going to feel and notice as I do that your um, nose is symmetrical and midline, free of lesions, any evidence of trauma. And is it tender at all to palpation? No. Fantastic. Next I'm going to take a look in your nose. If you would look up slightly. And I notice that they are patent bilaterally, and the septum is in the midline. The nasal mucosa is pale and pink, and I can see the inferior turbinates. There's no swelling or discharge. Um, I'm going to palpate the maxillary sinuses. Is there any tenderness at all there? No. How about the frontal sinuses? Any tenderness there? No. Great. And next, I'm going to transilluminate your sinuses. Great, and that looks normal. Fantastic. And if you would open your mouth, I'll look at the maxillary sinuses. Great, and I can see a glow in there, letting me know that we're able to transilluminate and there's not 
any sinus infection present. So next I'm going to do an exam of your mouth. I'm noticing right away that your lips are pink and smooth, symmetrical, and free of lesions. Um, your TMJ, will you go ahead and open and close a few times for me? So great, there's free range of motion there, no crepitus, no swelling that I'm noting. Any tenderness? No? Fantastic. There's no deviation or click. I'm going to take a look inside of your mouth now. If you would open. All right, the buccal mucosa is clear and pink. The teeth, if you would get, let me take a look at your teeth on both sides. Fantastic. The gums. And then if you would stick out your tongue all the way, say ah. ah. I can see the tonsils, the uvula, and the posterior pharynx. So what I noted, oh, and underneath the tongue, fantastic. So what I noted looking in your mouth is that your buccal mucosa is pink and smooth without lesions. Your teeth are intact and in good repair. None seem to be loose. Your gums were smooth and tight around your teeth. There was no redness or discharge that I saw. The tongue in the floor of your mouth is pink and smooth and free of lesions. Notice that your hard palate was pale and pink. Um, your soft palate was a little bit darker pink, and your uvula was right in the midline, where we would expect it. It rises symmetrically when I have you say, ah. And um, both anterior and posterior pillars were pink and free of exudate, and without lesions and smooth. Your tonsils were plus one bilaterally, without crypts and exudate. Um, your posterior pharynx was pink and smooth, free of cobblestoning or anything indicative of pathology and your gag reflex was present. So that all looks normal. Okay. All right. All right. So we need to do this again one because it's easy. Okay. All right. So next we'll do the skin exam. I'm going to take a look at your face, your chest, your arms, and feet, all of the exposed skin. So I notice that it is both warm and dry with good turgor. And it's a nice light brown color. There's no lesions, and your hair distribution is normal for a female. Um, taking a look at your nails, I see that they are well adhered with no thickening, crumbling, or pitting. There's no clubbing, and capillary refill is under three seconds. Taking a look at your toenails here. Great, your skin looks nice and healthy.